can take this tennis ball and do multiple things with it. I just want to show you a couple things that you can do. So we've got the one ball at the bottom, one ball at the top. We're just going to hold the tail, come to the wall. The more you lean, right, the more pressure this is. So you decide, and you're just going to put that ball wherever you need it, but not on bone, right? Because that's not going to and you're gonna to start to roll. And the nice thing about doing it like this is you can hold that tail and really get in there and get what you need. And when you find a spot, you might just kind of move your head, right? Or if you find a spot between your shoulder blades, you can move your arm, hold that spot and move the muscle that way, move the joint. The other thing that you can do that I like is squish the balls toward one another. And so it might just be like two fingers, two fingers wide. Your spine width is what we're going for. And so you have one ball on each side of your spine. And this is going to be exercise, just so you know. And you're just going to kind of roll up and down and give yourself a massage that way. Oh. And the best part. Well, not the best, because I like the head too. But take it booty width apart, right? You'll know when you get against the wall. And so you might have to untie and tie and find that spot, but put it on across your booty and you start rolling and you're gonna hit that piriformis muscle that bothers a lot of us. And it's gonna feel good. I promise, eventually it will feel good. Um, and then you can also put the balls together and rest your head, the base of your skull on those tennis balls and you can just kind of gently turn your head just a quarter of an inch, not much, hold the balls in place if you need to and massage your neck and the base of your skull, because we hold a lot of tension there, especially if we're at the desk all day. And then you can also just sit and breathe for two minutes and let those balls rest uh, at the base of your skull. Okay, okay.